Hi, it's me again. I feel kind of stupid because I had two minutes left on the other video. I didn't realize it. And I could have fit in all my bombs in that last video, but I didn't time it right. So I realized I only had like four left to show you. So um, this will probably be really short. Um, so this is a new one as well. Um, it's called Magic. And this is kind of cool because it's got a little surprise inside. This one makes the prettiest watercolor inside. Well, after it dissolves about halfway through, it turns red. And the red, it's like a dark, dark red, almost like a purplish red. Um, and that mixes with the blue and it makes this gorgeous, um, like midnight bluish purple water, like almost black, but so pretty. It's like, it made me kind of scared in my bath. I was like, it's so mysterious. I can't see the bottom. Um, no, but it's really, really pretty. I've never seen any color bath, um, bomb. I've, I've never seen a bomb that made that kind of color before that they made. So, um, this one has, um, some interesting ingredients. I know there's, they use like a, a good witch. I don't know if that's a bunch of bull, but to put a spell on it. Ooh. And it's supposed to like bring you good fortune and prosperity and blah, 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 blah. Um, I guess there's like a little, there's supposed to be a little parsley sprig in the middle for good luck. I think my last one that I used didn't have one gypped. Hopefully this one has one. I just love, I, I would really love to have a piece of parsley uh, floating around my bath. That'd be awesome. Um, now, this guy, okay, this one's called Lemon Days and Ginger Beer. Not too crazy about this one. This one has a very heavy scent to it. Um, to me, it smells exactly like that ginger soap I was talking about in my other video. Um, the ginger soap a lot of people love, and a lot of people say it smells like old ladies. Um, I can, I could definitely get the old ladies uh, vibe coming from that scent. It's just really, really strong, you know, and it's just, it's just perfumey. It's not like a floral, nice floral scent like most of the lush things. Um, it's just you smell and it's like, whew, like I can smell it from here. Um, and I love, I love strong scents because I like it to, like I said, I like to last on my skin, but um, I, I would have a feeling not too many people would be into this. Um, it was brought back from, it was, you know, discontinued and brought back for a short time. Um, I think it's still on the site. So I mean, if, yeah, if you like the ginger soap, get it, but if you don't know what it smells like, I wouldn't recommend it probably be a good one to test out before you buy. All right, now this one is another one of my little faves. I probably shouldn't show it to you and get you all excited about it because you can't buy it anymore. It was, dis it was just recently discontinued, so it's not a retro item. Um, I don't know, they might still have it on the website, I'm not sure, but this is called Butterfly Ball. And again, it's one of the little ones. Um, I like this one. It's got little pieces of flour in it, again, with the bits. Love it. Um, and this one is a floral, but it's like, um, I would consider this kind of like a powdery floral. There's a little bit of a powder scent in there. And it's small, um, but it's pretty heavily scented, so this one lasts a pretty good while in the bath for the scent. It doesn't totally disappear right away. Um, and it's got a little butterfly in the middle, so I stocked up on these when I heard they were going out of, going out of business. Alright, now, um, okay, so those are my bombs that I presently have. I could tell you about all the ones that I don't have right now, but have used, but it's kind of boring, boring without a visual, so I'm going to stop there. But there's just one last product I wanted to show you in the bomb family that I hate. It is the stupidest thing Lush has ever invented. So here are my other sides coming out. Blah, I'm rough. Blah, I'm Lush for this. This is so dumb. This is called the Modi Bomb, and it's for the shower, and it is so stupid. It, oh, oh, I'm so dumb. I have my Emodi Bomb bag 
but I used it and I put Mr. Butterball in it. So let me show you Mr. Butterball really quick. See? It's Mr. Butterball. He is a Butterball bath bomb shaped as a cute little snowman with his hat over his eyes. This came out for Christmas. comes back every year. So that I do like. That is a smart invention from Lush. Emoti bombs, stupid. They are little bath bombs, but they're flat. And you put them on the floor of your shower, and they're supposed to, like, release all this steam of aromatherapy and, and make you feel awesome. I bought one. I put it in my, uh, my shower, and I just watched it go down the drain. Like, it was so stupid. I didn't smell it at all. Um, and then once I started shampooing my hair and using my shower gel, all that foam, like, kind of piled on top of it, and it was just a big waste of money. It was literally money going down the drain. Um, so, horrible product. Don't buy them. Just don't. It's a waste of your money. Um, you'd get much better use of a bath bomb. Um... I can understand why they were, like, trying to be nice and, and make a product for people that don't like bats, um, you know, but want to use the bomb experience. So, I mean, Lush, you're really good guys. I know you're trying to be fair and let everyone have a chance, but it just it doesn't work. Sorry, guys. You should get rid of them. Pack it up. Um, all right, so, yeah, this is a pretty short video. Um, I'm going to probably move on to my bubble bars next, so... Not tonight. I'm going to go take a bath. Talking about all this bath bomb stuff. I'm going to take a bath and go to sleep. So I'll see you in a few days. Show you my bubble bars. It'll be fun. Join me.